Hello and welcome to Vampire. So we are back. And I did change the mouse sensitivity, so it's not gonna piss me off anymore. Now, I simply tweaked my DPI, so now it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be <coughs> a lot less choppy. Anyway, let's check it out. So we need to make... Yeah, we need to analyze that, the blood sample. We have some kind of serum, which really doesn't matter. I don't really must, blood must spend is much time more crafting. unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. So we the to... sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. Okay. I have so much time now. Well, it seems like it uh, it took us such a long time to make this serum uh, that it basically cost us a day because I I just rested before I made the serum, but hey, fine. Pembroke Hospital? Hmm. Anyway, let's rest. Yeah, I already spent all the points. Ultimate, tactical... I don't know. I guess we're gonna spend some of that. Doesn't seem like there's a way to enhance if social I'm to skills. Stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? You wanna talk? Yes, Nurse Crane. How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... I'm a surgeon. I'm not a delivery boy. Oh. This room is off limits. There's nothing here. Sorry, there's nothing here. Some of the patients won't last the night without them. Honestly, sir, I'm beside myself. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. All right. Nice. <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'm why I'm doing this, but I suppose it did end up uh, being relevant because I know how to make these chemicals. What is this place? Seems like it doesn't clear up. Is there a way to go, uh, the upper floor? Oh, never mind that. Seems like there is not. So this place, the Pembroke Hospital, is not as big as it might seem at first. I'm not sure how they don't have space. They seem to have plenty. It's locked. Can I lock pick it? Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Oh. 
Drake is parry. Oh, no, I can parry. Oh, whoa, 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 I'm almost dead. Kill him! I need, I need to go for a full heal. Wow. And I definitely want to do more fighting. Because fighting is not that bad. Actually, it's quite fun. So I got some XP for defeating him. Let's play. Oh boy! We have this? Okay. Uh. I'm out of stamina. No, that's bad. I need to knock down the guy. Go for a heal. I can do a heal right now, we have to. Should I battle lock? Okay. Maybe I should have locked him locked the fight. Okay, I used up all my blood to heal myself. Some bullets. Did I come to the right place? I need to get some blood. And I really like that, that I'm challenged. That means we will have a moral crisis we will need to get some blood oh that makes me leave the place Yeah, I kind of want to go back and keep exploring this uh, place. Your health regenerates slowly over time. Uh, that's actually pretty relevant. So we don't necessarily need to uh, get some blood, but probably we'll need some. Nothing is here. So can I just... Oh, we need some blood from this guy. Does it work? Oh yeah, we got some blood. Took some damage. No. Perfect. More blood. Behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. The sickness moves faster than influenza. Seems like knocking them down is the only way to get their blood. It's locked, all right. Okay. 
bottle of alcohol. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. Perfect. I don't know, lads, but this seems like uh, plenty of space to me. I have to use claw. Okay, that wasn't a, a really good fight. Balls of Mars, fortifiers, <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective, but they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. So I can keep going up, and go down. Can I keep going? No, nope. doesn't seem like uh, we have an option for that. So time to check out the basement. Oh, someone just jumped away. Didn't see who though. Should I ready some kind of a uh, gun? I have firearm. Oh yeah, maybe I can replace my main one-handed weapon for something else. Used. That's basically identical. This cost me less stamina. So that might be good. But... Okay. What if I... Oh, 10 stun. Okay, 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 okay. So that's the attack we get. I can also use... Uh, Oh, we can't even equip uh, another melee weapon that's meant to damage them. These skulls feed from corpses that are husks of animals. They're not after blood. Yeah, I'm gonna lock this fight. Go, go eat. Wow, they deal a lot of damage. Okay. Apparently I took some permanent damage. And I did see another one. For a snack, apparently the other one is gonna wait. Just take one out. Take him out. No. No. No, what I had in mind. to do some heals. Some Caucasian male is dead. A new citizen investigation is available. Press tab to open local investigations menu.
Okay. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into them. You just acquired a new type of offhand weapon. Equip it and press it to directly absorb blood. Yes. Really? Um, how much though? Five? We'll see if it works. At least it's worth it. There's one vampire over here. At least on the corridor. We saw him. Definitely get more after a stun, but the stun doesn't always work. I don't like self-closing doors. That's it. Sodium... Something something. Oh my... That's a proper vampire. I need to watch out for my stamina. One of them out. Maybe I need to get rid of the lock. Looks like I need to take out the shadow first. some life. Oh, that's really bad. Paranoid. These skulls can be so ferocious. 
I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. Hmm. It is though. So we can't go upstairs. Oh, I can jump up there. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. I need to craft something. Okay, analyzed. Whatever that is worth. Can we just craft a treatment for fatigue? Do we have everything for it? Treatment. Okay, we crafted a treatment for fatigue, apparently. Bring the medicine to Dorothy Crane in the patient's room. Right? We need to go back. The way we came. Do I have some kind of, uh... Blood vials? No. 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 Maybe we can make something happen, but I don't have anything. Okay. I have to say the atmosphere is quite good. I don't scare easy. And this is not... This game is not really going for cheap scares either. Yeah, it's, it's good. Ah, it's not great. At least I have some life. Should I go for the stun baton? Seems more effective. Yeah, we have it. As long as we can somehow knock him down, it's good. How does that work? Knocking people down. Oh boy. Not. You cannot get away with a l just screwing around. Oh, is it because of... Is it because of his stamina? Wow, this is going terribly. He even dodged it. Parried it. Alright, 
I'll just kill him. So where do I go? I got a little turned around. But I already got this information. Because it does seem like... Like I'm at that place where I, when I enter this morgue. But I already got the information and I need to... Or... And the item, so I need to bring the medicine to Dorothy. Yeah, I was here. I'm just going in the wrong direction. Perfect. Can't say it's the first time. Whoa! Am I missing some buttons that I should be pressing? Controls. Not that. Walk. Yeah, dodge is good. Hmm. No, I don't think I'm missing anything. You have the option to parry with certain weapons, but not with everything. Stop that! Wow! Come at me. Timing wasn't great. It didn't work. If he's doing some kind of action, he gets knocked down. But if he's just standing around, he doesn't get knocked down. And if he's parrying, he definitely doesn't get knocked down. So where are we going? Looks like I need to go up. And enemies are just gonna come my way. All the time. I can just ignore them. Probably I should kill one of them and get buff from the other one. Get knocked down. Finish him off now. Alright. I also have ranged weapons, some bullets. 
Maybe we'll use that. Okay, where I'm going... Oh, this has got to be it. Well, you don't really have the option to not get blood. I suppose that's not the vampire way. Hmm. I was also going to check out some of this guys. Oh, this is very costly. Go oh, punch him. Can we knock him down? Oh, it works if we knock him in the back. But he spins around. Finish him off. <laughs> okay, uh, nurse, I totally got the stuff you wanted. I would not recommend going into the morgue unless you plan on being, uh, oh, I don't know, a corpse. A look for citizens. On every street corner. The daily routine. I know something about this guy. What are you doing, man? Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Personal questions. Do you serve long? No, no, I already. Goodbye for now, Mr. Hmm. I wish I could be sick again. Feel my blood boil with the fever. Fear and disgust on every Good street evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood to... Are you going to talk with her a little bit? Do we have any... relevant conversation options? And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Ever heard of Cotard Syndrome? I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard Syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. How you feel? Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I see. Are you a patient here? I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howcroft? It's only a cover. To hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Your enemies? Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. I see. We'll take care of you. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me, for I am a vampire. I see. <laughs> Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. I see. I'm assuming you must be- Oh, I messed up. 
I'm assuming you messed must up be again. A... We need some hints. I already asked everything from her. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark. Time has lost its effect on me. All right. But the suffering continues. I cannot enter. So, on every street corner. I brought you the thing. Where are you? Oh. As for me, we have some of the most Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, Nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Got it. What? Diseases decrease the blood quality of a citizen. Use the correct medicine to heal them. Speak to the patient in the room behind Dorothy to check his medical status. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Medical checkup. He needs a cure for his fatigue. Do you like fatigue potions? About your hospitalization. Hospitalization. Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? She seems convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She'd go all the way to hell and back to help me. I see. You're in good hands. Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox, but rest assured you're in good hands here. It's not me you have to convince, Dr. Reed. It's my mother. Okay. Is she bothering you? Is your mother bothering you? As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone if you would prefer. That's tempting, doctor. <laughs> but you have no idea what my mother is capable of. She would tie herself to my bed if you asked her to leave. I see. How painful is your throat? How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, doctor. We must communicate. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. Then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, maybe. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. Come on, you gotta tell me. How painful. So pa Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk, Doctor. Okay. Can we just click on it? I have to go now, sir. <laughs> but don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. That's not what I wanted. Doctor. Good evening, Doctor. No! Goodbye. Your Mr. son is fine. Finding it a little difficult Mr. to Mr. give him Good the evening, Mr. Goswick. correct medicine. How are I'm okay. Okay, medical checkup. Can we give it this to him? I have it, man. This is what you need, right? You love this. I have to go now. Good evening, sir. Okay, uh, Doctor. talk to Edgar Swansea. Do I need to give it to him? Like, I'm pretty sure that he's the man who I got the medicine for. I will not let you down, my boy. I can I'm mesmerize right. people. Don't wait. Good evening, Mr. God. I'm okay. Can can I mesmerize you? It doesn't I work. I have to go now, sir. Maybe I need to mesmerize her, his mother. Good evening, doctor. Wow, that's not gonna work.
Tell me about yourself. What can you tell me about yourself, Mrs. Goswick? Not much to say. Just take care of my Mortimer and I'll cover all the expenses. That's all that matters. What are you doing in your life? May I ask if you have an occupation, Mrs. Goswick? I'm a teacher by profession. I teach young women who are more ambitious about their futures than their families. I see. Are you that rich? Are you really that rich? Most of the patients here are of a more humble origin, if I may say so. Yes. Thanks to my husband. May he rest in peace. I can cover any needed medical expenses. I see. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. What about? Don't you want the medicine? Good evening, Mr. I'm okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is what I needed to do. Oh, medical checkup. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. Give medicine! Finally. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Alright. See you later, uh, Mortimer. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Good evening, sir. All right. Doctor. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get better at uh, mesmerizing people. Dr. Reed, may I help you? Can I mesmerize you? Oh, I can't mesmerize you. I'll see you later. Can I mesmerize you? I'm quite busy. Doesn't work. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. We may lack the resources, but we have some of the most brilliant Can I mesmerize you? Good evening. I don't want to mesmerize myself. Good evening, Doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. Pippa? My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. Okay. Can I mind control you? God damn it, all I wanna do is mind control women. How is this not allowed? How is the staff coping? How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton the ambulance driver is even more grumpy than usual, especially concerning doctors. Why? Why does Milton dislike doctors? I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Why is he, why is he so grumpy? Why is Milton grumpy <coughs> on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. Okay. Um, what's the situation here? How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Chin up. This flu last, won't last forever. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. Well, I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end... Nobody was spared. I don't want to say get a grip. Have you been a nurse for long? How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. You're right. You're right. When dealing with such a terrible disease, one must remain humble. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try our best. Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. I, I like that. I like you. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Do you want to go for a tea later? I would, uh, I would, uh, it would be my pleasure. <clears throat> so, what about you? Hello again, Dr. Reed. I just okay. I'm just want to mind control someone. Goodbye, Mr. We can't mind Hunter. control this guy. Unbelievable. So we need to talk to El 
Edgar Swansea now. Oh. Nurses are needed now. Great. Well, I won't argue with that. Not like the nurses we have right now are not good. Dr. Swansea. Anyway, uh, that's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.